give Nashville the lead from the penalty spot. Mukhtar up against the man who gave away the penalty, Brad Guzan. Mukhtar! And he leaves. Brad Guzan rooted to the spot. He rifles that one home. And Rumba Matali's interim reign gets off to the perfect start. Mukhtar with the opening goal. Nashville lead. He always does in the pivotal moments for Nashville SC. He steps up calm as you like. Leash. Good pressure though from Atlanta. Mayumba inside the area up against Davis. Back for Sleash. And it's in. Sleash from distance. He just guided it home. It looked like a side footed effort. From the long 18. You need someone to step up and say, let me put this team on my back. Stands poised to take this penalty. This will be his first penalty attempt in 2024. Acosta rolls it in! The MVP fires Cincinnati in front as they look for their sixth win on the bounce. Cincinnati won, St. Louis nil. Into open space, the foul, the penalty, the class by Lucho Acosta. Orejano gets past the tackle of Watts, Orejano. Left-footed cross in, headed away by Parker. Now Acosta. Oh, what a ball from Acosta to Kubo! Absolutely picture perfect from the MVP to the Swiss Army Knife. And it's 2-0 Cincinnati. On this front line, notice on the far left side, a little bit slow to retreat here by Pompeu. And then just forgets about the runner on the outside. That hesitation right there. Bobito has it taken away. Ostrock. One right back, though, by Cincinnati. Oh, boy. Oh, that is a disaster for Matt Miazga. And all of a sudden, a lifeline in the strangest of ways for St. Louis. Could bring it back outside. Me and Murphy. It's the right decision by Murphy. Salentano finds Miasca. Just not on the same page. Acosta into the penalty area. Acosta backside. And it's turned in by Santos. And that might just about do it for Cincinnati. Looking to make it six on the bounce. Two assists for Acosta to go with his goal tonight. Santos makes it 3-1. You have the most dangerous man on the pitch in from behind. And then it's just a waterfall effect. Everybody starts chasing. All the vision focused on the one man. Once again, another really good save from Callum. Not had much to do, but when he's had to stand up, he's done it really well. Will there be a late hero? Campana, who's just come on. Flag stays down. Campana and you just see the run it's a wonderful run what he does he gets on the wrong side of Tubbs and Tubbs can't do anything about it with the man disadvantage is New England have slight advantage of possession Wagner nodding on in towards McGlynn it's a bit more promising McGlynn whipping into Carranza Beautiful delivery from Jack McGlynn, and Carranza could only score. Two and two for the Argentine. And for McGlynn to be able to occupy, and that is just a beautiful ball right into the path of Carranza, just whips it in with pace. All Carranza has to do oh, yeah. is... McGlynn, the interchange here, popped back to Pedoya, across the penalty area, stabbed away by Polster. Backheel there into Nathan Harriel. His Ooh. ball is off the woodwork and still a chance here for Daniel Gaston. There's two. On the second time of asking, Daniel Gaston gets his team leading eighth of the season and Philadelphia fully in control now. 2 0 up away from home. And, and then once this is tried to clear, New England is able to clear their lines and then you get the runners four. That one ricochets off the post from Uwa, his near post run, and then just the presence of mind for Gaston.
Teams picking up some impressive wins and battling it out right now. Gazda in behind in towards Quinn Sullivan who strikes towards goal and again even cheats the save. Gazda on the rebound, gets his second of the night and surely this one to bed now. Philadelphia Union a comprehensive performance with their man advantage. They're gonna... But credit to the Philadelphia Union keeps himself on side. And since he's come on, Quinn Sullivan has had one eye on goal, just unleashes that, keeps himself on New York City doing well initially to play away from the pressure. Here comes Malachi Jones. Noah Ayla defending. Jones getting the cross in. Good ball. Hunters one. Oh, cuts it back and opens the scoring in the Hudson River Derby. He beats two players, and John Tolkien keeps Malachi Jones onside. In only a second start, the rookie has been fantastic. He's playing the ball behind. Harper from distance. Oh, it's in! Spectacular from Cameron Harper. Level in the Hudson River Derby. their bread and butter immediately when the ball's 50 50 you've got to win your individual battle you've got to step up and, and a goal in the first minute of first half stoppage time from Cameron Harper otherwise it's been the Red Bulls probably the more threatening of the teams New York City trying to change that step over from Wolf back to Tavon Gray New York City will be patient Sands to Wolf Wolf cutting inside away from Morgan, leaving for Gray across. Oh, and in! Take the load off! Moonsa Fakhrar! His first goal of the year at long, long last! And what a match to do it in! How do you play through this? Wolf beating his defender, then sliding it in, but a quick ball in. Action goal leash. Spicer. Dropping a little bit deeper here, just getting that time and space, and that's where Spicer is able to stretch him behind. He takes that first touch positively. Ibrahim. Flores the Honduran. Lovely pass through into the path of Bernadeschi. Federica Bernadeschi, let's fly! again is exploiting the space in behind and I thought the moment had maybe gone for Bernadeschi to level it square and you can see it. Give it away again to Wusu. In. Prince peaked, pounced and the red redemption continues on. Starts from their own goal kicks here. Watt finds it to Waterman. They put five in the box. This is exactly how Montreal are designed to do it, but the execution is all wrong there. Too soon as though Derek Etienne and Kobe Franklin will be coming on momentarily for TFC, who have the ball on the cast. A Wusu! been able to switch the point of attack all match and find Bernadeschi in these areas. Coelho finds him there and he's clearly going for the cross there. Field for the fifth time for Toronto FC alongside the local boy, Kobe Franklin. Etienne involved straight away. Derek Etienne! Long stop and Bernadeschi! Toronto 
FC salvation! The substitute with his first touch here. Derek Etienne just throws this one across. When it drops right there on top of the six. The resolve to come back in matches and even when they've had bad performances, they've always come back with a response. Now it is Ibrahim who scores. But it does add a positive note for CF Montreal. Ibrahim's second goal of the season. Toronto are trying to find Bernadeschi in that spot, and Campbell does a really good job of winning it and then releasing it. A culture in the club, and I think that's what Peter's been able to do, obviously, at Sporting Kansas City. Ball by Nemo Rodriguez, spooned into the path of Alan Polito. Polito finds Johnny Russell. Russell arriving, Russell shooting, and Johnny Russell has broken through. 24. He said he had to start scoring goals when we talked to him this week, and he has scored a goal. And Sporting Kansas City wipes away the, the memories of the early goal that they conceded. The flag doesn't go up. They've been told to just keep the flag down. But watch Russell. He doesn't wait. He doesn't wait. What's going to happen? He gets onto his right foot. And then he... the, the team obviously he was injured early part of the season. And as a player, when you oh, oh dangerous giveaway. Melia gave it away, and a chance. Here. Just clear your lines. It gets caught under his foot, but this is it. This is intelligence. It's not on. I roll it to my teammate. I'm going to take a touch, and then I'm just going to fun. Right back for Sporting Kansas City, Padeda. This is his 99th league appearance since being the top pick of the 2021 Super Draft. He's already linked up once with Obrey. talking about his dancing wonderful diagonal now now he's in so control of the situation he gets his head up little pie wants the ball let the tire come in and then i hit it the other side on one of the players that i know very very well and 11th in mls history and goal scored with 103 to be exact and already on the ball and making a charge down the right hand side and clips in a nice ball See, he just lets the ball do the work. What's his header? He just cushions it. He doesn't power it. He doesn't head it down. He just lets it come off his forehead and say, pick that one out. Wards off a challenge from Johan Valencia. Tommy's still in possession. Sporting Kansas City trying to create a moment that would pull one back. And they do create a moment. That is a banger by Jake Davis. Oh, my goodness. Davis rips one from outside the area. Sporting Kansas City have scored more goals outside the box than any team in Major League Soccer this year. And that was a bomb. 63rd minute, 3-2 Austin. Wow. Well, it nearly ripped through the net. What a wonderful strike. He's never going to hit a better ball. Columbus need to get some possession now. They're not able to. Oh, that's a good ball. And it's Rossi. Rossi with Brady having to spear it out. Rossi got it back! Diego Rossi keeps rolling. Columbus to the lead at the half hour. He loves to run in behind. There's the run in behind. And then he gets the shot off, but watch the anticipation on this header here. He knows where that's going already. He's ready for it. Right. Ramirez for Sands. Rossi settles. Farsi for Ramirez!
Christian Ramirez with the fine finish. Superman rises into the sky and plucks down the Farsi cross, 2-0. Well done to him, then getting in the area where goals are scored. Because look where he is now, Mo Farsi, great ball. Ramirez loitering with intent, gets up, really good head up. Six minutes of regular time. Third consecutive corner. In the traffic again, Kutsias and the head of Tehran! Brings the fire out of their scoring slumber at home, finally! And it's game on with five minutes remaining. Carlos Tehran, he's the man to save Chicago Fire from a bad goal scoring record there. Rossi. Oh, good touch. Russell Rowe, another great touch. Russell Rowe. Phenomenal. The dagger comes out from the crew moments after the fire found their way back into it. Strikers work here from Russell Rowe. Once he come over, just look at this first touch into his path. Look at his first touch here. That is not easy. And then the finish. Oh, my goodness. That and Alan Velasco. Here's Aliou, meanwhile, trying to carve something positive. This is Bossy. Leaves it for Hector Herrera. Steris squares it across. Good football. It is sensationally built. Wonderful goal. Houston, all due for their goal. And it's Bossy who strikes. The Frenchman provides the flavor. And the Orange Crush is soaring in Space City. 1-0. Got to put some respect on this play here. It's intricate play. There's rhythm. There's swag. But look at this pass here. It cuts out every single FC. Ooh, not the time to be fancy there. And it's Musa. Can he oblige? Ferreira. Kabunga. And it's Peter Musa with the tap in exactly what they needed. The inspiration provided of a huge mistake. It's Peter Musa back into the goal scoring column once again with his fifth of the season. And the Texas Derby is all even. Look, this is patient and very good. Kabungo has a presence of mind to lay it back to the goal scorer here. Played off for Ayala, excellent ball. Rodriguez might be in, and it's Jonathan Rodriguez. Well, he's hungry, all right. And the Portland Timbers, with essentially their first look of the night, take a 1-0 lead. Run onto the ball. They just need to learn and figure out how he wants it, when he wants it, and understand the movement. And what a ball to find him. Pookie. What a ball that is for Rosales. For Robin Lund. 1-1. One, one. That is magnificent stuff. And Robin Lund, officially your all-time leading goal scorer across all competitions for Minnesota United. He doesn't track him, and he doesn't try to do too much. Beating Crepo with a clever little touch that falls into the back corner. And I also wonder what the conversation was in the locker room, because both these teams know they can't afford to have guys missing games or be down a man. Here's DJ Taylor. Sang Bin! It's another wonderful team goal from Minnesota United. And the reaction from Allianz says it all. 2-1. They're very close friends. And this is a great run by DJ Taylor. He comes on the inside of his defender. And as Zuper is trying to... Well, I think if there was any type of suggestion that there was fatigue or red line concern, there would be more changes than what we've seen from the starting 11. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Cole Bassett caught Zach McMath off his line. And a dream start for the Rapids. Out of nothing, Cole Bassett with his fifth of the season in a season that he is earmarked as the changing point for his career. Check out this angle from behind. As he plays, he's comfortable. He's an outlet. 
But as soon as Brody gets his pocket picked with that ball, that step through from Bassett, and notice the curl. He wasn't sure what his best position was going to be at this level, but he knew that he had the potential to be a top, top player in Major League Soccer. That's a nice idea from Navajo. He comes out the other end. Rafael Navajo. RSL in sixes and sevens, as they say. And the big Brazilian has now scored in four straight games. Eight on the season. And the Rapids have daylight. Comes to that cultured right foot. And Rafael Navajo, eighth goal this season. And look at the work left to be done. Scoop, what a fantastic goal. In for Luna, good first touch. Oh, hey, the left peg, testing Stefan. Gomez, oh, what a goal! Buckle up! We are riding high on the Rocky Mountains! And Chicho Arango has taken that Rapids lead and cut it in half. Watch the ball just squeak away. Andres Gomez gets a touch, but it falls to Chicho Arango. 12th goal on the season. A remarkable story that will continue to turn the page on here. Luna goes to the far post. Gomez! As Gomez peels off Sam Vines, look at this. Ooh. Out of the reach of that ball from Keegan Rosenberry. What a great ball from the right back. Arango has had enough. Shrugs as if to say, I can't get a call. Now Harris. Back it goes Mihalovic. Fernandez, big math. It's over the line. Colorado back in front. It's Georgie Mihalovic. Some scrappy goals tonight. Keeps their flag down. I don't know how much he gets, but it's enough. As Zach McMath gets that touch, comes off his knee. Vera looking for Arango. Abubakar in front. And now hit the crossbar. Arango! Yeah! Gomez, back from Arango, Gomez! Turn off the lights! Turn them off! Quick touch, Papito! He stood still like a statue. The run of Gomez continues. Stefan comes off his line. And at a bare minimum, he got caught havoc if you get that opportunity. Anderson Julio onside. Look at Arango. Can he get the touch in? Julio calls his own number and make it five. Anderson Julio out here says all the Colombiano scoring goals. Let's hear it for Ecuador. Five, three. Kisses it with the inside of his right foot. Then kisses that left post. Zach Steph in full stretch. And 5-3. Kakaris trying to keep it alive, but it's Angulo who battles to win it. And now into some open space, off and running. The Colombian full speed ahead, numbers in the box as he hits the brakes. All the way across onto the backside. In front, and it's 1-0. Orlando City has found the breakthrough. It's going to keep pace with Angulo. He rounds the corner. When he cuts it back, he sees this chance. And this is Yule. Look at Yule here. Just overcommits to that ball. A complete miss hit. Christian rolled up. Nice ball into the corner for Vargas. Perfectly teed him up. The cross. Far post for Morris. Dropped down for Rui Diaz. He was hoping to reel that in. Now it's Juan Pablo. Vargas! Save made by Takoka. Morris tucks it in. And the Sounders all over the white caps. It's 1-0 for the home side.
And you know a huge sense of release for Jordan Morris, who has started the game so well. And first to it is Jordan Morris. As the Whitecaps are all at sea, defending against the ball bouncing all around inside the six. Fry has yet to face one. The captain of the Whitecaps versus the veteran keeper of the Sounders. Here it comes from Ryan Gold, and we're tied at one. One, one at Lumen Field, and Ryan Gold brings this match level against now 10 men Sounders. Yeah, Stephen Fry whatsoever throughout the entire second half, given the gift from the spot. After the setup from the free kick, the Burhalters.